Hey, cruisers. Welcome back to Cruise Tips TV. Today, we are so excited to share our eight best ways to stay sane while you are planning your cruise. No matter how experienced you are as a cruiser, everybody gets a little bit frazzled along the way at some point. So we're going to walk through some of our top tips to help you keep your cool. Our number one tip today is to make sure that you take care of those passports and legal documents early on in the process. As soon as you book your cruise, that should be one of the first things that you do is to check out if your passport is expired or expiring in the next, next six months. And if you don't have a passport, get one. Or of course, if you'd like to cruise with the alternative documents of photo ID and a birth certificate, just make sure that you check the cruise line to see if that is okay. All right. Number two tip today is to consider joining some cruise communities. There are so many great ways to do this, from joining your roll call on Facebook to message boards like Cruise Critic, CruiseLine.com, the Royal Caribbean blog. There are forums and cruise communities everywhere, and you want to be a part of that. That is a great way to get information from people who are perhaps going on your same voyage or who have been on your cruise line. They can share photos and tips, and they have no hidden agenda. That's what we love about cruise communities. Our number three tip today is to consider signing up for our Intro to Cruising Masterclass. Now, Cruise Tips TV has created over 450 videos over the last five years, but what we found is that people wanted a sequential education on how to get organized for their cruise. So we have created it for you. We have 20 videos and loads of checklists that you are absolutely going to love, and we're going to link to the information in the comments below. It's super affordable, and we promise that you are going to love it. All right, our number four tip today is a good one, and that is to book your flights early. We talked about getting that passport squared away, but what about your flights? Especially if you are cruising anywhere near a holiday, make sure that you get those flights taken care of right away. Along the same lines, our next tip is to fly in a day or two or three early before your cruise, we hear nightmare stories about people trying to fly into port on the day of their cruise only to have a weather delay or some other type of travel tragedy happen and they don't make it to their cruise in time. So do not be one of those people. Now, you'll also want to consider pre-booking your hotel early. There are so many different options for pre-cruise hotels. There are what people call, they call a, you know, a park and fly where you can drive to port, you can park your car, and then you can take a shuttle to the cruise terminal. There's snooze and cruise where you can you can actually fly in from the airport, take an Uber or a taxi to the hotel, and then take a shuttle. There's just tons of different options, but book it early so that you're not creating stress for yourself in the week's or months before your cruise. My next tip for you is to make lists. I actually keep packing lists and all kinds of other things on my iPhone. You don't need anything fancy. You can just go into the notes on your phone and make some little lists. Now, if you want something more fancy, we have tons of checklists available to you in the masterclass that I mentioned a little bit earlier in this episode. And of course, we're going to link to it in the description below. So if you want some packing lists, if you want checklists for the month, week, and day before your cruise, we have those for you too. That is always an option. All right. Next up, we love to recommend using packing cubes as a way to stay sane before you cruise. If you've been with us here at the Cruise Tips TV community for a while, you know that packing cubes have so darn many uses. You can use them to sort of pre-pack and get things into your closet a month or two early and get organized. Also, once you get on the ship, you can slide them right on the shelves. There's just so many great things about packing cubes, and we find that by using them, we can start our packing process a lot earlier, and we can pack a lot lighter. We hope Hope that these top eight tips have been helpful for you today. Thank you so much for following along. We really appreciate all of you, and we hope that you will continue to do so. Make sure you're following us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Cruise Tips TV. And until next time, we'll see you on the high seas. Bye bye.